Guys, thank you so much for coming out to the third KCR Kids Comics Awards ceremony. This is a really big, year three, but in some ways it's year four because these awards started originally in a magazine called Nickelodeon Magazine. Thank you guys for anybody who remembers that. <laughs> but that's how and I met this 30, guy. Don't tell me. My name is Dave Roman. I am a cartoonist, best known for doing the Astronaut Academy series, co-writer of Teen Boat. But for years, I worked at Nickelodeon Magazine thanks to this guy, whose name is Chris I'm, Duffy. That's me. I hired Dave Roman in a strange moment when I was working at Nickelodeon Magazine back in the 90s. And here I am again, standing side by side. Hopefully no regrets, because now I've roped him into hosting an awards ceremony with me, which neither of us uh, went to school for. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to stay here, right? You're not going to leave me alone up here? No. Because we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm a little, I'm easily frightened. You're easy, I, okay. Okay. This is nothing to be scared. I've done this. Okay. This is my second year hosting. Okay. But this is the third year of the awards. I think we've got it down. I think this is going to be a well-oiled machine. Nothing should go wrong oh, then this be fine. year. We've got a lot of great cartoonists who are going to come up and help us. And we actually have two extra helpers here today that I'm going to invite up. Connor and Sarah are two awesome Connor volunteers. And Sarah. Yes. Maybe you guys have seen them here at the show. <laughs> so there's a lot of cartoonists that are nominated for awards this year, but not all of them could make it to the ceremony. So they are going to be our gracious acceptors. They're going to accept any awards for any of the cartoonists who are not here today. So you'll give them a big round of applause. They'll get the glory of taking these awards home with them temporarily. Look at those awards. And just so you guys know, the awards look like this. They're beautiful Lego minifigures. And guys, all of this could not happen without the fine folks at the Ann Arbor District Library. They are our hosts. Amazing. They helped make the awards happen. And best of all, as an artist who does not uh, specialize in math, I appreciate that the Ann Arbor District Library tabulated all of the votes that were cast from kids across the country. We made the ballot online, and kids voted. And thanks to the people here, the staff at the Ann Arbor District Library, uh, they tabulated the votes. And we don't even know who has won yet. They're all in envelopes that are sealed, and the presenters will bring them out, and we'll find out in a second. So. Our first presenter is the two people who came all the way from Canada, our friends to the north. We have Faith Erin Hicks, who is the author of Superhero Girl and Friends with Boys and many, many others, and Keen Sue, who is the author of Jellaby and the new book's March Grand Prix, which is coming out very, very soon. Please give them a round of applause. All right, here they are. Oh, come up to the, come up to the podium. Those Canadians are so humble. Thank you. Can you hear us? Hello, 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 hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, yes, comics. Comics are great. They are great. Kids are great. I agree. Kids are great as well. Yeah. Yes. You're looking lovely. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Keen. Um, I think we should just get right to business. I think Cut you, to the have, chase. you have. You uh, have oh, the yes. most. I have the favorite comic book hero, and uh, I'm the author of Superhero Girl, so I love superhero comics. So I'd like to think I bring a bit of expertise to reading this award. So the nominees are El Defo, who I see in the back there. <laughs> Hello, El Defo! Yay! <laughs> Knight from Adventures in Cartooning. Yeah. Woo! Yay, Knight! And Princess Adrienne from Princeless. Right. Woo! And the kids chose. Do we get a drum roll? And the kids chose. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can do it. Oh. <laughs> Don't let me down. Keep it going. There we go. Oh, where is it? Uh, oh, other side. Okay. <laughs> the kids chose something confusing. Keep the drum roll going. <laughs> El Defo! Yay! Look at her! Yay! There she is! Let's hear it. <laughs> As a Canadian, I would like to apologize for the technical difficulties. <laughs> so, do we get the award? Yeah. Um, Thank 
you so much. This is great. This is better than watching John Boy on the Waltons. This is my favorite day ever. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. And the most tricked out ride in comics. What do we have? We've got the nominees are Colossus from Amulet, Escape from Lucienne. Lowrider from Lowriders in Space. And the Sphinx Bike from Cleopatra in Space. And the kids chose... The Colossus from Amulet. So since Kazu uh, Kibuishi, the creator of the uh, book Amulet is not here, our two amazing uh, award acceptors are going to accept that award on Kazu's behalf. <laughs> what was that? What? What did you say? Did you hear? Did you hear something, Dave? Mm, it's just. I think there's like just some heavy breathing or something. Well, Nothing. no. Well, check your mic. Is it? Is yeah, it there's okay? a little technical difficulties here. Hopefully that sound some, will go away. I'm oh. sorry. This, that's what's called feedback. I think. I, I think that's think, what's called feedback. I've heard feedback. feedback before. I've been to a lot of rock concerts. Uh, uh, you know, okay. we're still a work right. in progress. Three years in, but we're still a work in progress. Um, I think you guys can sit down, hold the award safely, please. Hold the award safely. All right. Well, uh, our next presenter uh, is the uh, author and cartoonist of G-Man. He is a previous KCR award winner for favorite graphic novel, Adventure, in 2014. And uh, he's right here. His name is Chris Giarusso, and he's wearing a cape. <laughs> Hi. Hey. So this is my first year at this show, and it's incredible. I've been hearing about it for years. Dave's been telling me you got to get here. It's my first time exhibiting. I've had nothing but nonstop fun. And I also wanted to come and say thanks for the award that I won last year, Graphic Novel Adventure Series, for G-Man Coming Home. And uh, I have G-Man com This, this G-Man comic is available free upstairs. If afterwards, you want to grab one and have me sign it, I'd be happy to do so. But enough of that. I'm here to present, appropriately, best hair in comics. Because <laughs> who better? Maybe Keen Sue. I'm having the same technical difficulties. Thank you. <laughs> oh, who are the nominees? Oh, yeah. Before you read the winner, you have to read the, the uh, we're gonna nominees. Do it. We're going to do it backwards. Back. We're going to do it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. The nominees are, for Best Hair in Comics, Cleopatra from Cleopatra in Space. Yay. That's some nice looking hair. Hilda from Hilda and the Black Hound. It's, it's blue. I'd, I'd take hair of any color at this point. And finally, Lupe Impala from Low Riders in Space. Ooh, very nice. Look at that. And the kids chose Cleopatra from Cleopatra in Space. So Cleopatra could not be here. Oh, what? What? What is that? I'll protect you. I'll protect you. Did you see what's happening? There's a ghost in the award ceremony. Did you see that? What? Did you see what just happened? No, I was checking my notes. What's up? The ghost just ran in and stole the award. No, that was just another Canadian. That... Oh. <laughs> well, I, I haven't met a lot of They don't of get Canadians. a lot of sun up there. They're a little pale. I, I don't know. I think, I think the library might be haunted. You're overreacting yet again. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one. 
We just lost a kid <laughs> who seemed a little too scared. Guys, there's no such thing as ghosts. Do not freak out. This is a library. It's a safe space. You guys... You're wrong about that, Dave. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, thanks for right, the presentation. <laughs> That's probably just a one-time thing. <laughs> All right, somebody has to be the adult here. <laughs> All right, our next presenters are two amazing artists. We have Zach Giolongo, who did the amazing graphic novel Broxo and also the Star Wars graphic novels, Shadows of Endor, and Tori Wolcott, who is the creator of the amazing graphic novel Mirror Mind. Please give them both an amazing round of applause. <laughs> Uh, thank you. <laughs> when something is gross, it is often underestimated as being important in the medium of the graphic novel. And, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but it can communicate a lot. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when something is underestimated, it, it often sorry. Okay, it's good. All right. It's 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 often underestimated and not given the right amount of attention. <laughs> really, our nominees and those who are being given the proper attention for what they've accomplished, it's time to give them back. Absolutely. Well said. Well said. Uh, so we have three nominees, of course. The first nominee... Hmm? You got a little... Here? Here? Nope. No. No, no here? Yeah. Yeah. No, you got it. <laughs> On my ear? No, just... God. <laughs> the first nominee for... <laughs> grossest thing in comics. Uh, Misa scarfs down her food and burps from the two-person door by Faith Aaron Hicks in Explorer, The Hidden Door. Second nominee, Sophia gets, Sophia gets barfed on in 300 words by Dan Santat in the Comic Squad Recess. The third nominee, Reyna, <laughs> steps on a dead snake in sis I'm fine. Uh, Reyna steps on a dead snake in Sisters <laughs> by Reyna Telgemeier. <laughs> Do you want to check the nominee? And the kids chose... <laughs> Sophia gets barfed on. There we go. He approves the message. I hope something I hope something doesn't happen. I really hope something doesn't happen right now. I'm a little nervous that something could happen. Something? Oh, keep going. What kind of thing could possibly Keep going. All right. Keep going. <laughs> All right. We have, we have one more, we have one more category. category. Uh, this is, so to be honest, when they asked Tori and I to uh, present these two categories, they said grossest comics were kind of like, all right, I mean, I guess we can hang with that, but I don't know why they picked it. But really, when we read the second category, we said, that's why they picked us. Yeah. That's why they picked us. So, second category is, of course, the cutest. cutest. Yeah, that's, 
that's who we are as people. Because they picked the two cutest, cutest people, people in comics. In comics. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, so we have three nominees, of course, again, for this category. Uh, the nominees are Warren from Extraordinary Warren. Very cute. Very cute. Piggy from Elephant and Piggy. Very good. And finally, Ripley from The Lumberjanes. <laughs> And the kids chose <gasps> Piggy. So Piggy gonna be here, so you guys are going to accept as Piggy. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm ready for anything. Anything could happen right now. I was a little worried. You don't think anything's going to happen? No, you overreact. You're too nervous. Yeah, tell it to my underpants. Uh, all right, let's move on from the grossest stuff to our next category. Well, our next presenters. Yes, the next presenters. Oh, I know this person. We have two awesome presenters, the first of which is Raina Telgemeier, who is the author of Smile and Drama and Sisters. We also have Zach Gorman, who is the creator of Magical Game Time, Costume Quest, and many others. I'm married to him! No, sorry, whoops, I meant, um, never mind. Yes, Raina Togemar and Zach Gorman, everybody. Here they are. These two, right? Yep. Oh. Ooh. Good to see you, honey. Hi, Zach. Hi. 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 We're supposed to do that one, so Share the microphone between the two of you guys. Um, I think we're, we're going to start with the, co the category about hybrids. Do you know what a hybrid is? Um, I'm actually not real clear. <laughs> I think it's a kind of car. Oh, I actually, yeah. Okay. It has something to do with fuel and like not putting as much gas in your car as you normally do. But what does it have to do with books? Um, my understanding is that it's a comic, or no, sorry, it's a book that's like half comic and half book. So sometimes you'll have pages with just words, and then there will be pages with comics, and sometimes it kind of goes back and forth between the two. And um, there are a couple of these kinds of books that have become a little bit popular in the past few years. Um, I don't think he's on here, so we can talk about him. Have you guys heard of Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Yeah. yeah. That's a pretty good example of what a hybrid is. Sometimes it's a comic, sometimes it's a, a book. <laughs> Although comics are books. So, do you, do you hear something? Ooh. Again, th these mics are a little funny. Sometimes they make a little noises. I sworn I heard something. I Maybe definitely heard ears. something. It was like a beep? Or a I, tone? I don't think it was just a beep. It felt. Is your cell phone acting funny? Oh, I forgot to turn it off, maybe. Oh, mine's, are, yeah. hmm, mine's not even up here. <laughs> Uh, whatever that was. Okay. Well, why don't you go ahead and read okay. the nominees? Okay. I will read the nominees for uh, favorite comic slash novel hybrids. And the nominees are Big Nate in the Zone by Lincoln Pierce. <laughs> Clumsy. I mean, oh, Jedi Academy, Return of the Padawan <laughs> by Jeffrey Brown. <laughs> Uh, Life of Zarf, The Trouble with Weasels, by Rob Harrell. <laughs> Send for a Superhero, by Michael Rosen and Catherine McEwen. <laughs> and last but not least, The Yeti Files, by Kevin Sherry. And the kids chose Big Nate in the Zone by Lincoln Purse. Yay! Uh, Lincoln could not be here, so accepting on their behalf is our friend Sarah. <laughs> Thank you. What was your favorite thing about doing that book? Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Boo. 
that. Boo. You heard that, right? Boo. Wait, Boo. There's definitely a ghost here. Did you Boo. hear that? Boo. Hey, listen. Let's get you. Uh, you sure it wasn't another fart noise oh, from before? No. no. The fart noises had something else that came with them. Not a ghost. Boo? Yeah. No. Does anybody... No. Do ghosts even boo anymore? No, this is like a classic old-style ghost. Ah, so... Really? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I know. Well, it seems to have subsided. Okay. Why don't we, why don't we bring the next presenters All right, up? We've got Thank two you. more guests to present. Our next award, we have Curtis Sullivan, who is the owner of oh, Vault of oh, Midnight. Oh, wait. Oh. Do we have oh, one more award, award here? I think, I, think we'll, I think we'll handle this one. All right, guys, I admit <laughs> Stay it. Stay here. I am a, I'm a little spooked. I admit it. I'm sorry. I am messing up a little See? bit. See? It's real. All right, shake it off. Go ahead, you guys. Um, <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's bam for a second. Okay, we're going to, yeah. So going this category's favorite webcomic. And that's something you and I actually have more experience with than hybrids. A webcomic, I know this is going to be like really amazing to you guys. It's going to blow all your minds. It's a comic that's on the web, right? It doesn't have anything to do with Spider-Man, but it does mean a comic that's on the internet. And uh, Smile used to be on the internet before it was in a book. I, d I didn't know that. What you, you didn't know? I didn't know that. I'm learning that for the first time right now. And Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> There's a webcomic right now that I'm a big fan of called Star Bunny Incorporated. And I think the, the star of Star Bunny Incorporated is here on stage with us. This is amazing. <laughs> this is Blue Bunny. This comic is by Dave Roman. And his oh my God. character is standing on stage today with him. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Guys, a round of applause, Kevin Copa. <laughs> Kevin did the puppets the first year at the Kids Read Comics ceremony, and oh my god, this is a total surprise. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what? I don't even know how to react. <laughs> It's so awesome. That is fantastic. I just wanted to thank you for all your years of dedication and help, both to Kids Read Comics, and I know to independent artists everywhere who you've always been there to help out, send work their way, encourage them. You're just a wonderful and amazing person, Dave, and we wanted to give you something Aww. special. Well, thank you so much, Kevin and everybody. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Oh, man, that's awesome. I'll go over the operations manual with you after oh, the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, well, we're gonna now I gotta take the... some puppeteering classes. <laughs> we're gonna announce the nominees, but maybe we'll have Blue actually announce the winner, oh. or the kid's choice, yeah. I should say. So the nominees in the favorite webcomic category are Camp We Don't Want Ya by Katie Rice. <laughs> Fox and Duck by Eric Orchard. <laughs> Gronk by Katie Cook. Last of the Polar Bears by Lindsay Sebos. And finally, Princess at Midnight by Andy Watson. And the kids chose... Last of the Polar Bears. By Lindsay Sebos. <laughs> Um, Lindsay is not here, so accepting her award is our good friend Connor, who, how do you feel about polar bears? Well, um, I don't know anything about them, but I'm glad that you've loved me. You really love me. Boo! 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 Wait a minute. Wait, how can you not see this? It's happening right in front of me. Right in the back. <laughs> that ghost somehow became solid enough to steal another award. Uh, uh, um, uh, so now do you uh, believe? Uh, I believe. I'm sorry. Whoa. <laughs> that was a lot to take in. First seeing my character come to life in puppet form, and now a <laughs> real ghost that I've spent my entire life disbelieving. It's um, intense, right? Um, should we... Uh, should, uh, can we sit down, please? I feel like we need help. Yeah, you guys, you guys, uh, you're okay. You can sit um, down. I peed by a pan, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to call for help. I need, I need to call somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, sure, yeah, yeah, a ghost. Uh, 
<laughs> you're gonna you're gonna call somebody. Who are you gonna call? Um, for um, a ghost. I don't know. Who, who, who am I gonna? Who am I gonna? Call? This is terrifying. We should probably um, all just be frightened and shake and stuff. All right, I need Chris. Can you take over? I, I need to call somebody. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. The next. <laughs> thanks, Dave, for pre- making a phone call in the middle of an award ceremony. Next up, we have presenters uh, Curtis Sullivan, owner of the Vault of Midnight Comic Shop, which I visited yesterday for the first time, and it is excellent. And Rachel Polk, a cartoonist and also a podcaster of Super Skull. Um, this comic strip is, ver- uh, sorry, the comic shop is very close by, so visit it afterwards. And here they are. Thank you, thank you for that introduction. Yay. Thanks for having us, and let us present uh, an award at Kids Read Comics 2015. Are you okay? We're so happy to be here. I think we're okay. This I thing keeps like moving. This is going to be an issue. It's a I'm haunted microphone. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Right, I'm going to pre-open this envelope, though. That's what we're going to do. All right. So we're going to announce uh, the nominees for the favorite comic book series licensed or franchise. You okay? You there we go. Okay. All right. And the nominees are Adventure Time. Avatar The Last Airbender. (laughs) Bravest Warriors. SpongeBob comic books. Yeah, there it is. And lastly, the ultimate Minecraft comic book. And the kids chose SpongeBob Comics. What? Oh my God! <laughs> um, I happen to be the editor of SpongeBob Comics. <laughs> you did a great job. Well, thank you. I'm uh, I'm very I'm really touched and excited. I'm gonna take this one right here. Yeah. Um, Just gonna take it. Uh, I am. It's gonna be all mine. Thank you. No, it's gonna. This is on behalf of all the creators who work for SpongeBob Comics and on SpongeBob Comics and in SpongeBob Comics and around it. Thank you very much. And and. Uh, Did you name all of them right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, but you can. Um, none of them are here, unfortunately. I wish uh, somebody could be up here to accept it with me. But uh, anyway, thanks to everybody who voted, and of course to the library and uh, and Dave and everybody else. <laughs> Woo! Nice work. <laughs> Not expected that. You actually won. It was actually <laughs> moving on to favorite comic series original. The nominees are Abigail and the Snowman, Bodie Troll, we did the Jersey thing earlier, but he's a, he could do it again. Capture Creatures, Lumberjanes, and Terrible Lizard. And the kids chose Abiel and the Snowman. That was good. Awesome. Uh, the creator, Roger Langridge, could not be here. He lives overseas, but he ha- he was here a couple of years ago. Uh, so hopefully he'll come back, uh, so we don't have to send this all the way uh, overseas. But in the meantime, we will have Connor and Sarah accept on his behalf. How do you feel about being British? I don't know. (laughs) This is out of control. Look out, you guys. Hold it. Hold the award out in front of you in a safe place. (laughs) Uh, Take the children. Take the children. No. (laughs) I'm sorry. I panicked. All right, guys. Don't panic. Don't panic, ladies and gentlemen. I think think that might be the last time we'll see the ghost. No, I... uh, I really do. Are you sure? Yeah, because I'm putting my face. You guys I've, okay? You guys want to try this one more time? I watched a lot of TV shows I about this. I think Dave needs new pants. <laughs> I do. <laughs> All right. What's next? All right. We, All right. Have, we only have two more cat. Two. Well, a couple more. Two more. Okay. All right. Focus Get it on together, the event. man. Focus Get it together. on the event. Deep breath. All right. Luckily, we have a librarian and a teacher to help us. Those are the best That's people very soothing. in this kind of situation. Our next presenter is, our presenters are Laura Given, who is an amazing librarian and a Caldecott committee 
Award member, and Beth Shaw, who's an English teacher and social media coordinator for NCTE. What are you doing? <laughs> what, I'm first commenter on Raina Talgemeyer's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> you know that she's here, right? You you could see her in person. Yeah, I know, but you know, I just I'm her most devoted fan, and she needs to know how devoted I am. So, <laughs> um, don't you think that's kind of creepy? Creepy? No. Oh. Why? Why? Well, okay. No. Well, you just keep working on that, okay. and uh, I'm going to announce. The favorite graphic novel, oops, nonfiction myth. And the nominees are The Dumbest Idea Ever, El Defo. I Remember Beirut, Treaties, Trenches, Mud and Blood, A World War I Tale. And sisters. And the kids shows. <laughs> the kids shows sisters by Raina Tallow. <laughs> and Raina's here today, Hey, you're my number one fan? Yeah. <laughs> That's been you this whole time saying first? Oh, uh, well, that's cool. Whatever. I guess. Wait, wait, selfie. selfie. Oh, fine. <laughs> What's your name again? <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. See you later. Okay, bye. Oh, thank you guys really a lot. That's so cool. I want a kid's comic sword. Yay, thank you. Um, thanks. I, I don't even know what to say except thanks to these guys for presenting and these guys for hosting and, and that the ghost. I think I believe in the ghost. Um, my next book's actually about a ghost, so that's kind of appropriate. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, so, Beth, do you think you could uh, announce an award? Yeah, I guess. Which one's next? Is that humor? Favorite graphic I'm novel sure. humor. We knew it's going And the nominees are Comic Squad Recess, <laughs> The Glorkian Warrior Delivers Pizza, a pizza. Phoebe and her unicorn. Right, Stratford Zoo Midnight Review presents Macbeth. <laughs> and the zoo box. <laughs> and the kids chose. I love knowing the answer. One first. Okay, Comic Squad Recess! Hello, Various. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, do I know you? Do I? Do, do we meet before? What's your name again? Beth. Oh, Beth. Beth. Hi, 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 Beth. I only comment follow on her. every follow Instagram her. picture. Oh, I'll, I'll follow you. Okay. Maybe we'll take a selfie together. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm here to thank the creators, or no, sorry, thank you, Kids Comics Revolution Awards, for uh, on behalf of the Comic Squad. Um, I am a member of the Comic Squad. Dave is also a member of the Comic Squad, but he's the host, so it'd be weird for him to accept it. Um, specifically, thanks to Jenny, Matt, and Jarrett, and the uh, Random House folks for making this book happen. Book two comes out, I believe, next summer. Um, it's going to be called Comic Squad Lunch, so it's going to rock. So thanks on behalf of Comic Squad. So Beth, what do you do? You want to tag team you, this last one? Yep, yeah, sure. Okay, so we've got favorite graphic novel adventure, and the list. nominees are <laughs> Amulet, Escape yeah. from Lucien, <laughs> Cleopatra in Space, Target Practice, <laughs> Hilda and the Black Hound. Maddie Kettle in the Adventures of the Thimble Witch. And Return of Zeta the Space Girl. Let's do it together. And the, and the kids, kids chose. 
Amulet, Escape from Lucian. Um, Kazu could not be here, uh, so accepting this uh, award is our friend Connor. Um, oh, it's happening! Oh, no, not again! Okay. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Guys, I have to, I don't know I'm if we can. We need help. We need help. I'm What's going to happen? Ghost. <laughs> it's a ghost of the mouth! I'm so sorry for everything I've ever done! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Wait a minute! <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, oh. Holy cow! Yeah, we. Dave called you. Ah! Yes! Yeah. Yes! Get him, Ghostbusters! Go! Ah! Oh, this is so wait, cool. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Something's weird. Hold on, hold on. Stop Blast the music. Them. Something strange is going on. What? what? No, that is a ghost. That is a ghost. That's gotta be a ghost. <laughs> what? Oh what? Uh, Jersey Drozd. What? It's local cartoonist and teaching artist Jersey Drozd. Oh I thought he screamed like a cartoonist when he was being blasted. Sure, sure, yeah. Wait, is this no ghost? Means no paycheck? You're paying for my gas bill. Uh, um, um, can I put on a credit card? Uh, uh, Ann Arbor District Library, can you cover us for this? No. Oh. oh, man. <laughs> All right, guys, look for the Kickstarter where we're going to pay off the Ghostbusters bills. Um, but Jersey, Jersey, after you hosted the first year, you're my co-host on the Kids Comics Revolution Awards. How could you turn evil after, I thought you were a fan of He-Man. I'm a cartoonist. I'm petty. I was jealous. Jealous? What were you, you jealous of? You and Duffy are having such a good time, and I was back there flipping switches and making sure everything's working. What about me? How come I don't get to play? <sighs> Do you want to present the final category? Yeah, kind of. Should we let Jersey right. present the final category? Oh. Oh. I'm still going to have nightmares, but I'll feel a little bit better than a happy ending. Um, I feel a little embarrassed about what I just did. Uh, today, so I'm wondering if I could get some kid cartoonists to come up and help me. Maybe Connor and Ellie and Sarah. Could you please join me on the podium up here for the final category? Ooh, thank you so much for coming up here and saving the day. You can hang out here. Hang out here. Hang out. Now comes the big one. Favorite cartoonist author, meaning regardless of the work, you guys just like them all around, right? They're just a great person as well as making great stuff. Do we agree? Yep. All right. So I'm gonna need you guys to read the um, nominee. Oh, these are taped tight. <laughs> that was me. Uh, all right, so for our favorite cartoonist author, the nominees are, could you read this one, Ellie? Whoops. Uh, it's gonna come up. Dave Pickley. <laughs> Dave Pickley. There he is. Connor, you take the next one. Faith Aaron Hicks. <laughs> I'll read the next one. Kazu Kibuishi. And then all of us do this one at once, ready? One, two, three. Raina Telgemeier! Remember, kids voted for this. Let's find out who the kids chose. Read that name. Raina Telgemeier. That's actually a really good friend of mine, guys. I was totally kidding before with the whole Instagram thing. <laughs> wow, this is like the seventh time I've been up here today. Thank you, guys. Um, I'm a little embarrassed. I'd love to share the stage with, with everybody, um, especially my fellow nominees who are all amazing people. And uh, this, this really means a lot. It's been a, it's been a good couple of years, and I've, I've had a great time doing it. And I'm so glad that, that kids read comics can be a thing. It's my favorite show in all of North America, believe it or not. I'm glad you guys are all here to share this experience. <laughs> This weekend, 
Thank you, AADL, for always hosting us and doing such a fabulous job. Thank you to Jersey and Dave for hosting the show. Um, thank you to every cartoonist who makes time to come and be a part of the weekend and share what you do with kids because we all love comics so much. And thank you, you know, fellow cartoonists for... Wait, did I already say that? <laughs> Can't do this anymore. Too, too emotional. Thank you to the kids. That's, that's what it all boils down to, is the kids who read the comics and love them. We're going to keep making more for you guys to read because we love you as much as you love us. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Well, Chris, I feel like we have been through an emotional adventure together. We faced our deepest fears and overcome them. Um, I would once again like to thank uh, the Ghostbusters who came and saved thank the day. Thank you, Ghostbusters. Um, I have learned that they are uh, agents. Oh. Wait, Dave. What? There is one more award. What? There's another award that hasn't been given out yet. We ask kids around the world to help us recognize an amazing comics advocate. Someone who truly epitomizes the kids' comics revolution idea of it's not about tearing something down. It's about building something more awesome. But this is all news to me. you don't need to take my word for it. Hey, this is Ralph the Pug. Uh, I'm here from Jared J. Krasowski's art studio to tell Dave Roman that he is a wonderful guy, and we're all so lucky to have him in the world of kids' comics. You know, Dave, you do a lot to advocate for the, the comics for the kids, and, you know, we're lucky to have you, and uh, congratulations on the special recognition. Thanks for being one of the real heroes in kids' comics, Dave. You are awesome. Thanks for everything you do. Mmm, Dave Roman, yes. <laughs> the force is strong with this one. So one of my favorite things about Dave Roman is that he's completely committed to not just his own books, but to kids' comics in general. And he's very serious about the kids' comics revolution. He, uh... Last time I was talking to him, he said something about just that, that wasn't it amazing that we're, you know, living in this time when we can all make the types of books that we're making and, and kind of have them be popularly accepted. And he turned to me very seriously and he said, it's the kids' comics revolution. And um, that's just one of the many, many things that's cool about Dave. So... The world would be a better place if everyone could find something that they love and that they fight for and that they advocate for as much as Dave Roman fights for and loves comics. What a guy. Wait, was I the ghost the whole time? <laughs> I feel like I've died. <laughs> um, well, thank you, Laura, who, you know, Laura has actually been one of my people who always gets me through when I'm feeling a little uh, blue about things, and she's been very supportive every step of the way. And of course, Jersey has been one of my best friends and has always been very supportive. And all you guys, I love this community. I love comics. I just want to read good comics, so I'm just supporting it because I want stuff to read. Um, Thank you uh, to Connor and Sarah who helped uh, today. Thank everybody. Um, huge thanks to the shakeups in Ponyville. Guys, they are not just a great house band. They are a great band. 
period. And it's so cool that they got to be a part of the awards this year. I'm super stoked. Please check out uh, their music and their website. Um, and hopefully we'll see you again next year for the next awards ceremony. And thank you, Chris Duffy, for being my host. Thank you, Chris. Yes, thank you. All right, guys, thank you so much. <laughs> Play us out. Shake ups. Adventure time.